Oh. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining and tuning into this video. I can already see a lot of you who are there and waiting for this video. Today we are discussing a very important topic and a very new topic that we haven't ever touched about in the past. So security, orchestration, automation and response is the topic of today's video. Uh, you know, as you can see, we are already talking about automation in the title itself. So we will be talking about automation. We will be talking about integrations. We will be talking about a lot of things. So one thing, please make sure that you pay full attention to whatever Akshay is saying, because he is SME. He is a subject matter expert. He knows what he is doing. He knows his game very well. And second thing, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section because we are doing this video for you only. OK, so in case of any doubts, in case of any queries, be it related to, uh, you know, security orchestration or even anything else in, in terms of information security, cyber security, feel free to ask. OK, so Akshay, over to you. Yeah, I love. Thanks for having me. Thanks, folks, for joining in. Really excited to see people already interested in the topic uh, itself and, and people coming before us. Uh, it's, that's the motivation behind creating these videos. So uh, I, uh, we deliberately picked up this topic because there have there have been a lot of talks around uh, the concept of uh, security orchestration, automation, and response, or SOAR uh, in in short. And and you must be hearing if you're part of a SOC team, if you're part of an infosec team, if you're part of the incident response team, if you've ever been part of any incident handling management, or if you're a decision maker in an organization in terms of cyber security. SOAR is a concept that um, uh, you might have gone uh, come, come past. Uh, uh, at, at some point uh, in uh, while working for an organization. So what SOAR is essentially, it's the short form for, like I said, security orchestration, automation and response. Now, uh, essentially what is SOAR is, is uh, it's, uh, let's break it down. Let's break it down into uh, orchestration, automation and response, right? So let me, let me take these topics one by one and I'll tell you what this is about. So. In terms of uh, or security orchestration, what is security orchestration all about? So basically, uh, a lot of data that is inside your information security team or program, a lot uh, there the, the data is uh, usually the softwares, the solution, the data. It works in silo. So you have a, a scan, uh, 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 an antivirus scanning engine. You have an SIEM in place. Uh, you might have a threat feed uh, that you're getting. You might have a vulnerability scanner uh, that you have. Uh, so all of these, uh, so the vulnerability management program, the incident response, the SOC, uh, the, the SOC team, they all work in uh, in their own capacity. What security orchestration orchestration essentially is saying is that it is a, a gathering. I bringing these tools. It's it's talking to a, a different solutions, different. Uh, types of data, different types of data sources, different types of uh, uh, solutions, and it is consolidating the information that it is getting, and it is using this th these data sources uh, in and presenting something in a more usable fashion. So, so uh, for example, if I could tell you uh, something is that uh, let's say you find a malware in your environment. Right. So typically as an incident responder or as an infosec team, what you will do or you find a suspicious file. So what typically you would do is that you will you will try to analyze that file. So you would probably uh, you have uh, you'll, you'll uh, upload the file uh, in, in a platform uh, 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 like something like virus total. You'll upload that file. You'll take out the hash of the file. You'll check the f hash of the file against the threat feeds, against the threat sources. And then you will decide what action to take, whether you want to sandbox it or not. Uh, or, or you want to delete the file or not. Now, orchestration is just this process of if, if you're using a SOAR platform, if you're using a SOAR solution, or if you have implemented SOAR in your organization, all of this uh, happens on its own. So uh, on a malicious file, it will automatically uh, talk to the virus total API. It will uh, take out the hash of the file. It will check with the virus total API. Then it will instruct the uh, sandbox to uh, take this file or it, or it will automatically talk to the antivirus uh, engine to conduct a scan or it will itself delete the file on the machine. It might go a step further and then scan uh, initiate or kind of help in the scanning of other machines 
for such a file and if found it will then take the action of deleting or quarantining that file as well so this is a very yeah uh, sorry for interrupting isn't uh, some of the functions that you are just telling are aren't some of the functions uh, uh, you know provision of the intrusion prevention system as well i think some of the actions are performed with that device as well yeah so exactly so orchestration love in itself is nothing it's basically talking to a lot of people and getting the job done in an automated fashion so uh, so the soar platform today a soar platform might have antivirus or ids ips capabilities but that's not its core the idea uh, behind soar is that it will speak to an antivirus engine as well it will speak to a uh, to the uh, virus total api or the threat feed as well and then it will collate so for example let's say you have a threat feed in place you have threat feeds that are coming into your organization so your soar plus so typically in in a manual environment there will be a threat hunter there will be a guy who will be looking at these feeds and checking against yes. the threats inside an organization against these threat feeds now what if i tell you that there is a way there is a platform that will consume ingest these threat feeds understand what a, a malicious uh, file or or, a, or an indicator of compromise is and then ask the uh, antivirus engine or the uh, endpoint detection tool to actually initiate a scan against this and then uh, the, there is a, there, are, there there is a solution to take an action uh, from the response part of it uh, it will ask the tool to actually take an action so the orchestration is talking automation is actually the uh, the process orchestration is integration kind of uh, or uh, automation is uh, automating the manual or the menial or the basic job of a security analyst and response is then deciding what to do against that security threat so what essentially this is doing so i just defined soar for you by the way yeah so the orchestration automation and response and so what this essentially is doing so one thing to note here love is that you cannot replace a human so this is not to say that you're replacing a security analyst with a soar platform you're essentially automating his regular task his regular uh, his menial or or low level uh, low hanging fruits or low level items and he, uh, it's ensuring that the analysts or the team can then focus on uh, the second level of analysis or or uh, can do uh, or, uh, effectively manage their basic task and focus on bigger things so can i then say that you know uh, you know this uh, this collection of software solutions and tools are kind of allowing the organizations to streamline their security operations it's, in exactly, in three that, in that three, is exactly in, what it does yeah, yes. in three core areas so if i'll mention those, those three core areas they, they would be number one threat and vulnerability management as you mentioned and the second one would be incident response as you mentioned and the third one will be security operations automation right yes 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 exactly so very well said i mean i was going to cover this uh, yeah. uh, when we were going to talk about use cases but very well said i mean uh, today if you have a if you uh, if you have a good uh, vulnerability management program if you have a good incident management program and you have a good blue teaming that is security operations then you're pretty much covered in terms of uh, protection protecting your organization if you talk from a, pro a technical uh, standpoint so 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 from regarding uh, preventing or handling threats cyber security threats cyber security attacks so uh, soar is the way to go when you have a mature vulnerability management program so so people organization go for soar when they know that their soap operations their incident management and their vulnerability management is robust is mature it has developed over time they have good solutions they have a good management program and that is how you 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 uh, take a soar platform and then you define rules or you uh, tell it what to do and it will do the job for you so what it is kind the of saves time it saves